this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Department X sells goods to Department Y at a profit of 25% on cost and to Department Z at 10% on cost. Here the percentage of profit on cost are given. Department Y sells goods to X and Z at a profit of 15% and 20% of the sales value. So for transfer from Department Y to other department, the percentage of profit is on sales respectively. Department Z charges 20 and 25% profit on cost to X and Y respectively. The departmental manager are entitled to 10% are entitled commission on net profit. Subject to unrealized profit on departmental sales being eliminated. The departmental profit after charging manager's commission but before adjustment of unrealized profit is given to you. So, this is a profit given to you after payment of commission but without making the adjustment entry for unrealized profit that is stock reserve. So what we are required to find out? This is the profit after commission. The commission is given on the incorrect profit. So add back commission which has already been granted. So you will get the profit before commission. Then give the effect of unrealized profit that existed in the stock of transferee department but that unrealized profit exists in the profit of transferor department that's an important point so after giving the effect of unrealized profit I'll get the true profit on which commission need be granted and after that I'll calculate the commission now let me start so this is the department X stock lying in different department so in X department 14,000 and 6,000 stock is lying but on this 14,000 profit is earned by Y and here in, on this 6,000 unrealized profit is earned by Z. Here this is the stock in Y, profit earned by X and Z. This is the stock in Z, profit earned by X and Y that we are required to calculate and we are required to deduct the unrealized profit from the transferor department because transferor earns a profit while transferring goods from its department. Now let us start. Find out the correct departmental profit charging manager's commission. First step, find out the profit before commission. Deduct the unrealized profit from the transferor department. This unrealized profit is in the closing stock of transferring department. From the adjusted to unrealized profit, the each department deduct the commission of the departmental manager and find out the real profit. Let us start. So I am given the profit of department X. This profit is given to me after giving 10% commission. So this is a profit after 10% commission. So profit before commission suppose was 100, then 10 was the commission. 90 was the profit after commission. Let me prepare the working note. So suppose that profit is 100, commission is 10. Profit after commission is 90. For department X, such profit is 36,000. If 90 is the profit after commission, then 10 is the commission. How much for 36,000? So this was a commission given for against the profit of department X. Now same way, let us work out for 27,000. 90 is the profit after commission, then 10 is the commission. How much for 27,000? So 3,000 is the profit after giving commission of 10%. That is 27,000 is the profit after commission. For Z, 90 against 10 commission. How much for 1800? So 2000. So this was the commission already given, which was not correct. So let me add it back. So this 4000, 3000 and 2000 I have added back. So now I will get the profit before commission. Now in this profit before commission, I am required to deduct the unrealized profit. That unrealized profit existed in the stock, but it was earned by the transferor. Now let me prepare a detailed working note for that. So, deduct the unrealized profit from the profit of transferor and the unrealized profit 
is found in the stock of the transferring department. Now, why department stock 15,000? That was transferred from X. So this 15,000 is stock in Y, but it was transferred from X. How much percentage of profit X charged? This is the 11,000. Stock of Z. It was transferred by X. X has charged profit. When the goods were transferred to Z, what was the percentage of profit? That percentage of profit was 25% profit on cost and here it was 10% on cost. So this is a transfer value. So after profit value. So if 100 is the cost and 25 is the load, 125 is the transfer value. So 125 to 25 is the unrealized profit. How much for 15,000? So 15,000 into 25 upon 125 is the unrealized profit. So 15,000 into 25 upon 125. Here 10% on cost. So 100 cost, 10 load, 110 is the loaded price. 110 is the loaded price. Transfer price. Then 10 is the profit element. How much for 11,000? So 11,000 into 10 upon 110 unrealized profit is 1,000. So this 3,000 unrealized profit in the stock of Y. But it was earned by transfer or X. This 1000 unrealized profit existed in the stock of Z. But it was unrealized by the transfer or X. So total 4000. That is the unrealized profit of X. So from X it will be deducted. This is the unrealized profit of X. Deducted. And that profit existed in the stock of Y and Z. That's an important understanding. Now stock of X, 14,000. Stock in Z, 12,000. This stock existed in X but transferred from Y. This stock existed in Z but it was transferred from Y. How much was the profit chart? 15% of the sales value. 20% of the sales value. This is a sales value, transfer value. So 14,000 into 15%, 2100 is unrealized profit. And 12,000 into 20%, 2400 is unrealized profit. So 2100 and 2400 is unrealized profit. That existed in the stock of X, but it was earned by Y. This unrealized profit, 2400, existed in the stock of Z, but it was unrealized by Y. So total profit unrealized by Y, 4500, that is deducted from the profit of Y. Same day. 6000 is the stock of X that came from department Z. Here stock in Y 5000 that came from department Z. What was the percentage of profit charged by department Y? 20% on cost. So here 6000 into 20 upon 120. Here 5000 into 25 upon 125. So this is the unrealized profit. So unrealized profit in the stock of X but earned by Z. Unrealized profit in stock of Y but earned by Z. So total unrealized profit earned by Z. Deducted from the profit of Z, 20,000. So now I get the true profit. On this true profit, I am required to give 10% commission. So 36,000 into 10%, 3,600. 25,000, 10%, 2550 commission. And 18,000 into 10%, 1800 is the commission. This is how the commission is given. Now I will get the profit after commission. That's the true profit after commission that we have worked out. This is how this sum gets solved. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to God.